Welcome back to Smoking Jay's Garage. Let's get more power in our Yamaha boat. More air equals more power. We are going to take, uh, this is uh, from Riv River, River Racing. This is a big uh, reusable air filter. As you can see, well, if you're familiar with the size of your air filter, this is quite a bit bigger. We're gonna pull it out, we're gonna compare it. This should be your surface area about double the size of the stock one. Now, obviously that's not gonna be twice as much air, but it's gonna be a substantial more, substantially more amount of air, and that's what we're going for. So, I have a 2020 242X, so we're gonna be doing two of these. I've got the other one in the back of the truck, and now uh, we're gonna show you how it's done. We're gonna pull it off, show you what it looks like. All right, so if you go down over here, in order to pull this off, we're gonna pinch this, move this up out of the way here, and then we're just gonna work this off. Uh, I'll do this probably off camera because I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. Uh, I'll be gonna have my hands in the way. You're gonna loosen up these two hoses right here, and then there is eight of these clips, two on each side, two, four, six, because there's two on the bottom, on this side, uh, eight, total of eight. We're gonna pull all those off and then we're just gonna pull this off and wiggle it out. It's a little bit of a pain to get to. It's a little bit hard to get off, especially on the uh, starboard side motor because there's even less room there. But we're gonna pull those off and then we are going to show you what they look like and how the filters go in. Okay. All right, we've got these off right over here. So this is what they look like. This is, uh, obviously you can see how big your air filter is. I've got about 110 hours-ish on this boat. 107 last time I looked, but I was out today. Uh, and you can see it still looks pretty much like brand new. I mean, you don't get a lot of dirt in these filters. But if you take a look at this new one now was set in here, it is almost double the surface area. At least it looks that way, give or take, right? So the way that we pull this off, there's three screws on here. And this whole thing comes right off and our new filter Sets right. There's even a groove sets right in there. It even says install this side up. Sets right in there. But you know what I want to do because this is kind of hard to wiggle in place and this is going to flop around, right? It's hard to get these back in. There's not a lot of room. It's tight. I am going to go ahead and try to figure out exactly where these screw holes are, drill a hole in this new filter and actually screw it in so that when I go to put it in, I don't have to worry, it actually goes in this way. I don't have to worry about this filter falling out, getting pinched, something like that. So that is what I am gonna do right now. And you, you can see we don't need these particularly tight. Uh, what I did was I took this, used it as a template, I set it over my filter, and then just marked my holes from there with the drill. Um, keep in mind though, this is not actually in the center, so you make sure you have it the right way. See, I drilled my first hole in the wrong place. I had to redo that. So just keep an eye that uh, this isn't centered. Make sure you put it on the right way. Again, we've got the K&N and the, and the River Racing facing up. All right, we've got both of these screwed in, ready to go. I had a little bit of trouble due to, uh, not so much trouble, but um, due to the, the, oh, the, around the, um, filter is all rubber. So it is a little bit hard when you try to get, you know, lay that on top, put your drill bit on. It moves a little bit. I took a utility knife and I just, uh, cut around my hole a little bit where it didn't line up perfect. You can see, uh, there's a groove right here that I want to get inside of. And it was actually, you see my hole was just off there a little bit and it went ahead and it pulled it off of that groove a little bit. So. I just trimmed around that hole and now we should be good to go. So let's go ahead, put these back in the boat. So just for reference, uh, for the for the drilling part, we used a 15, 15 64 inch drill bit. And that was about the same size as what these are. Although again, it's rubber, so it's gonna move around a little bit and you can kind of squeeze through a smaller hole if you needed to. So we're gonna set these back in and kind of wiggle them in. It's a little bit of a pain but at least these filters aren't gonna fall out. I don't think that it would be easy to get these in at all if, uh, we, didn't, if we didn't screw these in. So I'm gonna slide these in and then I'll, we'll be back when it's done. All right, I have this one in. If you wanna take a look, make sure that you obviously tighten up these two screws again. Don't forget to put this hose on and you've got eight clips. Make sure you get all those done. I have one more to put in. I'm gonna put this side in and uh, in the next video or in a very shortly uh, video in the future, we will get out on the water and see if this actually makes any type of a difference. I was out today earlier and I uh, 
tested for the very first time the uh, lateral thruster 2.0s, which I will put a link, uh, a video in the end card right up here for you if you want to check out that video. Otherwise, thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next one. A boom.